Hi everyone, Armored Pants. Welcome back to channel and we have a new video for you which is about learning the hardest skill or the most difficult skill to master in Blitz, which in my opinion is patience. And the subtitle is Zen and the Art of Blitz Maintenance. Those of you familiar with that iconic book will get that reference. Now, uh, this video um, is obviously about what we believe is the hardest skill to master. And that's just my opinion, right? I mean, it's very subjective, right? So obviously some of you would disagree, but in my opinion, it is one of the, if not the most difficult skill in Blitz to master. Now, this video is continuing the theme of videos that we've had recently, which, you know, look at, let's say more, um, let's say abstract um, aspects of the game. So for example, learning to lose are you know accepting that loss is part of the game and um, not giving up never giving up so okay you're gonna lose but don't make it easy for the enemy right and um, and this sort of is on a similar theme because after those videos on the discord server a few people were asking okay um but you know we get really bad teammates and particularly when there's updates or there's events you can get really really bad teammates and of course matchmaking can be very frustrating um, and <clears throat> you know I think um, you know the question was so what can we do right how do you how do you do deal with this well I mean obviously you need to accept that you're gonna lose sometimes and you're gonna you need to accept you're gonna get bad teammates but the conversation was kind of interesting because meat locker was on the um, discourse channel that day and he said well you know um, my recommendation would be to be patient and I thought this was really really great advice and I seconded it and then I was thinking about it a bit you know being patient is a key skill when you've got poor teammates who are not playing well and not supporting you, right? And here's why. When you're frustrated, and you get frustrated when you're losing games, when you've got poor teammates who are not doing your job, when things are not going well for you, for example, when I uh, missed that shot on the T92E1 and my um, shot onto the grill for some reason didn't pan, I just got the splash damage, right? Frustration is the opposite of patience, right? Um, and at least you're doing things like this, right? Completely missing. Now, why was that? It's because I was becoming a bit frustrated in this game, right? So my teammates are not doing their job, right? We have them overloaded at D. So we should have cleared off that flank. But instead, we're not actually uh, clearing off. In fact, we're being pushed back, even though we have overwhelming firepower there. So you're kind of thinking, so these guys are not doing their job right then what happens is things like this happen you can't do your job i can't support them because i've been spotted up and i get kind of smashed there a bit and i'm down to just over 600 hit points and frustration is the opposite to patience right and when you get frustrated you make mistakes you tend to just give up you're very um, Fiber says, you know what, fuck it, I'll go on to the next game, this one's not working out. Yeah. But if you're patient, if you can be, and we've said this many times before, a bit more zen, take a step back and say, okay, look, this is not going well. My teammates are not really doing their job. I have a choice. I can try to do the job to the best of my ability use the skills and the experience I know I have, regardless of whatever level you're at. Right? We all have some skills and experience. Um, and do my very best. And if I do lose this game, it's not going to be because I played badly, right? I'm going to do my very best, right? And that's what I did in this game. Poor start to the game. Frustration with my teammates. Frustration with my own poor play. Then that, then it's an exponential kind of model, right? A snowball effect because my frustration, my teammates led me to make more mistakes. For example, missing, fluffing the shot on the grill and, you know, probably trying to take that extra shot or the extra time for the shot on the E100 that got me an extra one, possibly two hits, reduced my hit points. But now I have, you know, taken a step back. I've calmed down a bit and I've said, look, Possibly we're going to lose this game, so what? But it's not um, going to be because I get frustrated and just give up. I am actually going to do my very best here. And now I am exhibiting patience, right? I am exhibiting a lot of patience here. 
you see there showed him a bit of leg you know got him to uh, shoot his load prematurely and I'm able to put him around it now he's a one shot for me so I've taken him down to now just one shot I haven't lost any hit points and eventually now you'll see that patience pays off because one of my teammates eventually decides to come and do something um, and we were 5v2 now we're back to 4v3 um, and we're ahead on points so now we're in a, not a bad situation at all right certainly significantly better to where we were amx is on a reload so i can reposition without him hitting me um, and i know the cran wagon is now also reloading so we've got some decent firepower now against the amx if he decides to push us and again it's being patient waiting waiting now you know for him to make the move you know and it's also about watching the mini map knowing uh, watching the count knowing that we have a points advantage um, and they need to do something right it's not they can't even if they capture the you know, other base and go three to one bases up it's still not enough for them to win grand wagon is there again patience i don't give into the temptation to try to go for the max hg roll on them especially with the ing look i've been having this game i just decided to go for my points guaranteed points with the ap also i know that the grand wagon has that magazine shell system and is able to take out the amx and then we win now that game i think was a perfect example of how you can get frustrated how your teammates are not doing their uh, jobs you get even more frustrated you make even more mistakes but taking a step back calming down being a bit zen taking the japanese bushida way of the warrior thinking about your own gameplay and then actually going on and making a significant contribution to you actually winning the game and i think that game was very much a case of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat and if you ask me what the key to that win was i would say patience not giving in not saying fuck this for a game of soldiers i'm off you know and the things you you see in many games and we've discussed them in the video about not giving up you know kill me now my team loses my team noobs I didn't say anything, just concentrated on my own gameplay, did the best I could do, and in the end we were able to win. I know it's difficult to do, guys, right? Our natural reaction is to get frustrated, and frustration leads us to making even more mistakes. And that's why I say patience is perhaps the hardest skill to learn. Now you're probably looking and wondering, what am I looking at here? Again, there's two aspects about patience I want to draw your attention to in this game. Here's one. I got uh, disconnected at the start of this game, it was AFK. So what you're looking at here is me going out of the game. Uh, I've played on iPhone, went into airplane mode, shut off the Wi-Fi, joined back on LTE, and then I came back into the game, and it took me, what, 45 seconds. Now, that may seem like a very straightforward thing and not directly related with gameplay, but many players um, wouldn't do this or wouldn't think about it, and then they lose that game, they're an AFK for the whole game, right? I was AFK, but I was only AFK for the first 45, 50 seconds. Right, so that's another aspect of patience, right? Um, patience will actually, um, your ping, your, in, your, your connection, your internet connection, and getting back into the game. And I'd recommend you should always, always do this, right? Um, if there's a possibility of going onto a different Wi-Fi network, or a different form of connectivity, or onto LTE, or 3G, 4G, whatever you have, do that. It's not always going to work but you'd be surprised for me it works nine times out of ten and then you get back in and you'll see in this game if I had not done that we would have lost this game because you'll see I make huge contribution to us winning this game now this game is also an example of your teammates not doing your job doing their job right this STB one here this poor guy has no clue what he should be doing in the medium tank right you can see here I have to push forward in the lower tier TD to do the job uh, he should be doing you can see here this FV I have him down to one shot and I have to take him out the STD is and in doing so I actually and I wanted to make sure I got the kill I had to fire I fired HG and I damaged I knew it was possibly of damaging myself but also used both repair kits um, and you'll see at the final when we look at the score the STB 
be one hardly did anything right and definitely wasn't doing his role as tier 10 uh, medium tank when you have to leave your medium tank role to a lower tier TD there's definitely something off right now in this game um, you'll also see because it's supremacy we go to a situation where I think we're three or four would be one tanks three v one maybe but we're very close to losing because the enemy captures all four bases again because other players on the team are not doing their jobs now you can see in both the games and I've said this in videos before I never rage it's pointless to me it's pointless right um, I certainly never abuse other players, but I don't even really bother writing noob or super noob or do your job or anything like that. The only thing I ever write is trying to give people advice. But I know everybody's not like that, right? Um, and I know people, you know, get frustrated, right? Now, we talked about abuse in the game. Please never abuse anybody. Call somebody a noob or, you know, tell them they're not doing their job. That's not abuse, right? And you might be a little bit salty or whatever, but that's not abuse, right? That's just, you know... Um, I would say in-game banter, right? And calling somebody a noob is not offensive or bullying, right? We're, when I'm talking about abuse, we're talking about, you know, telling people to get cancer, telling people to die in car crashes, hoping something happens to their kids. Um, now, here we are back to this situation. You saw there again, you know, I don't know what the rest of my teammates are doing, but I had to take out that tier 10 tank on my own. I'm down to one hit point now. I have to go towards A, otherwise we're gonna lose on points and look. I'm left isolated against tier 10 heavy tank with an auto loader. Thankfully I have one repair kit left. I'm able to angle up again and I'm able to take him out, go for a nice safe shot right through his tracks into the main body of the tank. And you can see when we look at the scores that um, exactly what I was saying that if I hadn't um, reconnected to this game we would have lost that game by being patient coming back in reconnecting the other thing you may have noticed is i stopped during that game for quite some seconds almost 20 seconds while my gun was damaged waiting for my repair kit to come back online again another example of patience in the game the gun handling on russian tanks is pretty bad anyway if you have a broken gun module you're not going to hit anything so you rushing towards the enemy is going to be pointless so again the patience exhibited there was key in um, being able to perform better so let's have a recap on the key points about patience and the hardest skill to learn in blitz so firstly we don't always get good teammates right and there's nothing you can do about it you don't pick them right so teammates are like your family you don't get to pick them right um, and in that respect they're quite different to friends right but getting bad teammates is part of the game right just like getting good teammates is part of the game right and we never complain when we get a really easy victory right and you can't always win and we need to accept that losing is part of the game, right? Once you accept that, I believe, and once you also get away from concentrating on stats, I believe it's like a weight being lifted from your shoulders and you become a much better player, but also a much nicer player. And also the game becomes far more enjoyable for you because you're not weighed down by this huge uh, monkey on your back of stats. But you do need to accept that, you know, losing is part of the game. Now our natural reaction, as we discussed, is frustration when we get bad teammates and we're losing a lot of games uh, particularly if we're losing a lot of games in the same day or in a row right and that's the opposite of actually what we need frustration is not what we need what we need is patience as demonstrated in both of those two games because this is a key skill as i said in my opinion perhaps the most difficult skill to master patience now i understand you know it's difficult because we live in a post patience world right we live in a world of instant gratification you know instagram twitter and um, facebook and um, tv on demand like netflix and all of this stuff everything's instantaneous so being patient is not something that the world teaches at the moment and that's why i say it's maybe the hardest skill but it's important to think about now look even the best of us and sometimes me me myself i get frustrated and i don't um, practice what I preach and I understand it's difficult but at least think about it and try and I believe that your gameplay and you as a player will improve significantly so cheers much thanks for watching I hope you found it useful I hope you found it enjoyable and I guess now all that remains for me to say is pants off that's all folks